Hello, I'm Peter Sebastian, the grandson of Frank Sebastian. His bush name's Guy Jai. Uh, we're at Roebuck Plains at the moment. We actually came out here for hunting. Uh, Roebuck Plains is about 40 k out of town. It's easy trip, not so tiring. It depends on how you're actually traveling there. Makes the trip enjoyable, but it's fun for the whole family. Just going out hunting and running a big muck. To get to Roebuck Plains, the, you have to go out of town. You go s pretty much past the road house, the first, it's uh, down the south, uh, Port Hedland Highway. As you come out, there's a, there's a lot of, like, big plain, and there's a turn on the right, there's a gate, silver gate. Just go through there, but pretty much you need permission from all the elders and people that own the land and stuff. People here, yeah, people, important people like that. People that, the traditional owners of this land. That's the people that you guys need to see before you actually go out there. When you go through the gate, there's like everything that looks like mud, but it's actually dried mud. And there's a lot of cows around. Uh, there's a little cattle place. There's a little cattle place, and there's water for the cattle. There's a lot of stuff around. There's a lot of cattle. I can say that. Yeah, there is a lot of cattle. Uh, the best time to ca catch a barney would be wet season when all the frogs, all the grasshoppers are up and about, because. That's the best time that our barnies like to come and eat, and they also breed at at the wet season. In the wet season, well, the technique in how to hunt for a barney is just to keep the kids or whoever's there quiet, and just keep a good lookout in the bushes. Shh, I think there's one over there. Let's go check it out. If there's a hole, it depends on what kind of hole it is. If it's old, there's no use looking in there unless there's tracks, the fresh tracks that's been in there, or red dirt. A new hole is red dirt. That's the barney would either bury itself or dig the hole for it to camp the night or stay in there for a while. Uh, you just go up there, get a stick, poke the hole. If, if, if you feel something moving around, if it's hard, you know there's something in there. Bang, you gotta got yourself a barney. Uh, if you come across a small barney, you just pretty much you can play around and you just don't kill it because you're just ruining the environment in a way. Because in the future, you know, that, that barney could be one of the big, massive barneys ever going. That's why if you see a small one, you can just muck around and stuff. Just don't take too much of an advantage and kill it because that's just waste of food. Here in Broome, we call Goyana Barney, but a uh, bush name for Goyana is Jalangadi. Uh, my uncle taught me how to speak the language. He's taught me a lot about the language that they use in this town. Uh, if we don't catch the Barney, it's alright. We we'll just go home and have fun. Because pretty much when you're out bush, it's mainly for fun. It's not, it's not like serious competition. I mean, it's just letting all the young kids have fun. Showing you guys stuff that you guys haven't been haven't seen before, and yeah, just sh helping you guys get new experiences. Not our luck today, boys. Hey, what that that side do? That's Barney. Yeah, let's go, yeah. boys. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> As I was young, my uncle Neil McKenzie brought me up hunting and brought me up, brought me up the bush life. Uh, Aboriginal life, a pretty good life he's brought me up, so he's the one that's taught me everything that I, everything that I know. My Frank, um, Frank Sebastian, my grandfather, taught me stuff as well, and he's told me a lot of stories that I could pass on to my kids that they could, you know, keep the generation going. 
Frank Sebastian is just an excellent blood, best grandfather you could ever have. Whatever my grandfather tells me, his generation, he passed his generations unto me, and his grandsons and all of my brothers and sisters. And now I have to do that with my young son. If I have kids in the future, and tell my kids to pass it on to them, just keep the generation going forever. Just don't want to lose a generation, or that's going to be a bit hard for our culture and our land.